Hey y'all, it's your girl T and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I package my hair and wig orders. But before we get started, please make sure you hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post a new video. Now, let's get into it. <music> printing off all of my invoices so that I have them to put inside each order. So for my bundle orders, this person ordered one bundle. And so I put an invoice in here. I do like to put a uh, selfie, a thank you, and a business card. Every now and then, randomly, I will put in a, uh, like a small gift if I have something or you know, just need to get rid of stuff that I get from vendors because I can't help because I print all of my labels. Yeah, I'm stuff. And sometimes it may ask like, hell, every time it asks the weight, but I usually know the weight of my leaves unless it's too big. But every now and then I'll use this if I want to be a little more accurate. So from zero. I always have a business card and a thank you card inside each package. Mm, I don't need to no. I have a roll of them. I'll put thank you sticker on the back like that. And then the front. And then go ahead and print the shipping label. I do have a package up. And I do this for each order. I try not to like do too much so it don't get all mixed up because that's the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Now, it's this Silas Beauty's birthday, so I am going to add something special for her. So, with her order, I actually didn't have the list in and stuff that she wanted, but we did communicate and we decided on exchanging out uh, what she asked for for what I had in stock so that she'll get it in time for her birthday. So that's why I'm adding a little gift in there because she was willing to, you know, cooperate with me and work with me. And I also work with her so that she can get hair for her birthday. And, you know, it just worked out. So now let's move on to the wig orders, okay? So... For my wig orders, I kind of try to have them in order if I can. Like the boxes, I'll go ahead and pre-make up all my boxes. So my boxes are just ready. Um, I did a, a long time box, so I'm going to take this wig. I already put it inside of a little net, a hair net to try to preserve the curls. I do like mailing my wigs in boxes over um, mailing them in like the poly bags because it do helps keep the style in place. You know, when those bags they get smushed, the girls get smushed, and so on. So I'm, I'm looking for my thank you information because thank you, pack us in your selfies. We're gonna put all that inside of the box, inside the bag. Everything else is things that came with my Valentine box. She got all kind of nice goodies. Now for 
for my wigs, I like to put the invoice on top. Take some of the hair out. They're gonna put this in here. And like, oh, when they, as soon as they open it, they can look at the invoice because that's the first thing they need to see to make sure that they got the right stuff. Alright, so. Okay, this one is good. I'm doing it. I'm making sure I have everything for my next order. I have these custom bags. I ordered these online. They actually look bigger than what I wanted, but now that I have them, and I ordered so many, so I think it was like 500. So because they're so big, I, I do like them better that they are so big because, you know, I can put different things in them. Like, if I wanted to get a shirt or something like that, then I can, a shirt can fit in here. A whole outfit can fit in here. These are, these are like perfect. This is my next wig. I'm going to go ahead and print. I still should cut the lace, but this is what I mean. Like, take this, put this inside the wig like this. Oh, that's kind of dope. <laughs> People say, oh, she really, she put her work, her heart. She take pride in her work. Yes, I do. I take pride in everything I do. I like to bring in everything that I have. I like presentation to look good because I want anyone that worked for me to come back and tell others, like, yeah, she... Her packaging nice, her box nice, like growth. It's all about growth. Now, I do feel like in the future, you know, as my business get bigger, I, I would like to get custom, like, boxes that I don't have to make up myself. But that's, you know, in the future. But this works for now. You know, you do what works for you for now, and you look better. That's the thing, no ever settle. Always look for ways to upgrade, and that's all I constantly do. I would have packaged in my orders like this uh, when I first started. I ain't had no cute little bags, but I always wanted them. And when I made enough money, I made sure to invest in some nice packaging, some nice bags to show. Ooh, she legit. Yes, you girl is legit. So. And I just have to put her invoice in this. I hope you enjoyed watching my video on how I package my orders. Like I said, if you're interested in seeing how I make my custom wig boxes, then please leave a comment below and I will definitely get that out for y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.